Hello and welcome to the Creativity Cabinet. Um, yes, I, I again have another Dollar Tree haul for you. This is actually a pretty huge haul. And the reason for it really is that I became inspired by another video that I watched. Um, you guys know that I like the Dope or Nope guys. And in their latest video, they did a video where they made what's known as starter kits um, for different people in their office. Um, and starter kits nearest I, I can figure out are these kind of memes where you take somebody that everybody knows and you make up a, a little kit for them that has things that, that, that really call to mind or represent that person. And so they made a bunch of starter kits for other employees of their High Five Studios. And then they went around and tried to see if people could guess who the kits were for. Um, so I'm watching this video and I'm thinking, oh, that would be really fun to make starter kits for all, all my favorite YouTubers. And wouldn't you know it, just a little bit later in the video, you know, I'm already having this thought, a little bit later in the video, they actually said, now we want you guys to make starter kits for us. So I'm like, yes, challenge accepted. So, um... I'm I that that's why I had to go out to Dollar Tree because I also made another um um rule for myself and that's that my 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 starter kits are not just going to be starter kits they're going to be Dollar Tree starter kits. Um so th the extra challenge is, is they're all going to be products from Dollar Tree. Some of the products I'm going to embellish and I can pretty much add whatever embellishments I want to, but the base product has to pretty much be from the Dollar Tree. So I ended up going, on Sunday, I ended up going all the way to Lincoln, which is a good two-hour drive from where I live, because they have a great big Dollar Tree there, and I was going to go there on Thanksgiving, because we go down there um, for our family dinner down there, because that's where my brother-in-law lives, um, but we didn't go because the weather was bad, so um, I asked my husband if he could he could take me down there, because we had just had this random Sunday where we weren't doing anything. So he did. He's a sweet sweetheart. And I went to that big Lincoln Dollar Tree. Didn't find everything that I was looking for, but at least now I know that that I've been there and I'm not going to be forever wondering whether some of the things I'm looking for might be there. <laughs> so I did that. And then yesterday I also went to two other Dollar Trees here in Omaha. Um, now, I'm not going to show you everything that I got there because a significant amount of that were things that I got for the starter kits. And the starter kits are going to be their own video. Um, um, so I, I don't want to show them to you here and then give away what's going to be in the starter kits that are going to come in the video videos later on. So you'll have to wait for a little bit for that. Though I, I am going to try to get this done as soon as possible because I'm not sure what sort of a deadline the Dope or Nope guys have for having the, these starter kits made. Um but of course, while I was at all three of those Dollar Trees, I saw other things that are, are not for the starter kits. So that's what this haul is going to be about. I got a bunch of other things as well. Um, and in case you're wondering, I looked and still didn't find um, one of the little ice cream trailers. Still looking for that. Didn't find it. But I will show you what I did find. Okay. And these are all kind of mixed up because I um, I can't show from store to store because... I had to go through all the bags and pull out all the stuff that I got for the starter kits and set that aside. So now they're all kind of mixed up together. But I'll, I'll just show you everything I got here. Okay. Um, ice cube trays. Now, I have this, this kind of vague idea in my mind. This may work and it might not. You might see it in a video. You might not see it in a video. But I have this idea that I want to make one of these cool little containers which these are actually kind of cool. Um, I'll let you see on inside there. Um, it goes like that. And then there's room in the top. Um, that This also opens up like that. Um, I have this idea in my mind that I would like to somehow make some kind of paint. And I want to cut these apart so that they, they, they fit inside here and make this a little paint container thing. Not sure how I'm going to do it, whether it will be successful or not, and you may or may not see that in a future video, but I got these for that purpose. So let's move on. Um, oh, got to grab my bag here. Ah, 
they had some more metallic markers in different colors. So of course I had to get one of every color. So they've got this blue one here. And this one is a kind of a rose gold one. And this one is purple. So I got those. Then they had um, chalk pens, which I think I already have the white one, but I got the, the bright neon pink one and the neon blue one. Um, then let's see, they had these. These are a little kind of, they're meant to be, be I think, moss covered rocks. And those are gonna go into my ice cream um, fairy garden thing that I'm gonna be making. That, that, that's still to come, but it, it's coming. Um, and then let's see what else we got here. Oh, I love toucans. They had a toucan squishy, isn't he cute? Probably not go, going to do any DIY with him. I'll just, I'll just leave him the way he is. He's, he's very cute the way he is. Um, and let's see. I got some of these blocks. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I think that they they have real DIY possibilities. They're little wooden blocks. Um, oh, here's another chalk marker that's green. Um, cute ribbon that it has little... Um, cactuses on it. So isn't that cute? I'm a big sucker, sucker for cute. What can I say? Um, they had these plaques. Now th this is really interesting. It's an interesting shape, but look at how thick that is. So I just thought that was really interesting. It had some definite DIY possibilities. Not sure what I'm going to do with it just yet, but I just thought that was curious and interesting. Um, and they have these cute um, little toy cooking utensils. Um, I have a specific idea for these. I'm going to make a, a cute little kitchen sign that's going to have little utensils hanging off of it. And um, I thought that these were perfect because they all have little holes in the ends of them so that they could be hung really easily. Um, and then let's see, one more thing in here. We've got... Ah! Uh, one of my Dollar Trees did have a few of the um, sweet fairy garden things. They didn't have the trailer, but they had other things that I hadn't gotten in my first round. So I decided to get one of each of the, all the other ones. This is a cute little kind of candy path. So that's going to go in my ice cream thing that I'm making. Moving right along. Okay, this, this bag has some kind of breakable items in here, things that they wrapped in, in paper. Okay, here's some of these are more than those fairy garden. Okay. Yes, here's some more of the sweet fairy garden things. I got a cute little fence that looks like it's made out of lollipops. And this is a cute little thing. Like that. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but it's, it is kind of cute. Um, and then from here. Oh, this was something that I saw somebody else find. I think it was Bargain Bethany found these. I was really hoping to find them. I was happy to find them. They're these very cute little houses. They're ceramic. And I think you can put like a little tea light or a candle on the inside of them. But I, th I think that these might also have some DIY possibilities here. Um, so that's, that's his welcome. Um, here's another fairy garden thing. A cute little bridge. Here's another one of these houses. Isn't that nice? It says, love lives here. Um, they had some houses like that at, at Target Bullseye's Playground, but those were a lot more expensive. They were like $5 each. So I'm, I'm real happy to find these at the Dollar Tree. And this says, home sweet home. Isn't that cute? So I think um, I'm probably going to do some DIY with these. We'll, we'll see. I just think they're really cute. Okay, what else we got here? All right, here we go. Got some more greenery. They have these beautiful ones. I don't know what that's called, but let's see if it's if I can read it on the label here. This is called, oh, it's just called Greenery Bouquet. But I, I, I love these. Are those pretty? So I'm... Um, I have a project that I'm going to use some greenery for. I'll probably go with that project. Then they had these. These are really cool in the craft section. These were ones I think I, that I got in, Link, in the Lincoln store, which has a nice big craft section. Um, 
look at this, this butterfly, the laser cut butterfly, and it also has a little tea light on the inside, the little electric tea light. So it, it will light up. So that's gonna be really cool to DIY. And then they also had a hedgehog. So I got a hedgehog and they had an owl. So that's really cute. Then let's see. Um, oh, well, um, let's see. I think probably Dollar Tree number two that I went to actually had a couple more Cake Boss items. So I, I managed to get those. Um, this is supposed to be a fondant smoother, but I'm thinking that this could work well for clay. And then they have this, which is really cool. It's, it's kind of like a thing that you can use to cut out strips of things, but that they'll have like a, a swirly edge to them. I'll let you see that. So isn't that kind of cool? Um, and it also comes in this, this very nice tin. I mean, can you beat that for a buck? Yeah. Okay. Move my table here. Ah, another challenge I recently accepted. Um, just saw my, the latest Mariah Elizabeth video. Um, it's the one where um, she locked herself in her studio and forced herself to paint for 24 hours. And one of the things she painted was a paint palette. And she actually said, I'm wondering if painting paint palettes will be, will be like a trend, like a YouTube trend. So I was all like, challenge accepted. So I got a paint palette, and I'm going to paint this paint palette, and that's going to be a future video. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Okay, more stuff. Ah, stickers. Some really nice 3D stickers with various inspirational sayings on them. I've, I've always got to get stickers. Got to get one of each. So those are very nice. Um, Oh, I liked this. This says, welcome to our beautiful chaos. Now, isn't that the perfect thing for my studio? It, it, yes, I'll give you a kid. It is the perfect thing. Though I am, I'm going to put some things, stuff inside here. I'm going to see if I can pry the back off and put a bunch of stuff inside of it. That's going to be even more cool. Set that there. Oh, they had these cute little miniature, um, oh, what is this thing called? My brain is not working. Um, clipboards. That's what they called. They're cute little miniature clipboards. And so I got two of each kind. There's the, see, this kind. And then they have um, this. So I got two of those. And then they have some ones that look like little chalkboards. They're, they're meant to hold pictures, and I'll show you something on the back here. In addition to just being a little clipboard, they've got a little thing on the back so that you can set, stand them up, um, like you would stand up a small picture frame. So that's really cool. That, that, that's a, um, rather than using them uh, for necessarily for pictures, I may just like do some hand lettering on these. These are really cool. Okay, they had, um, this is a self-inking stamp, and it looks like a little banner. I thought that was cute. Um, more stickers. Aren't these birds cute? Little sparkly wings. And then we've got, well, here's some beautiful rub-on trans. I think these are really neat. Look, they've got a bunch of different kinds of animals on there. They've got the unicorns there, and they've got, let's see, they've got a couple of, they've got a little couple of um, raccoons and... Um, just a whole bunch of cool little things on there. And I think this is supposed to be, interestingly enough, kind of a Valentine theme because there's a lot of these little animal couples that are there that seem to love each other. So I'm thinking I might be able to do a, a really cool DIY with it, with these. Um, more stickers. This is like a, a three pack. So that's kind of cool for a buck. Um, oh, and even more stickers. Here we go. Aren't those beautiful? I thought these were cute. They they they, they kind of go with those, with that um, ribbon that I got. And, and these are cute because they're all kind of neon and they're outer space, so that's pretty cool. And I, I like these planner stickers. They just have a lot of different kinds of neat things on them. Look at that! What look at that with a little fish? I think that's really cute. And then um, they had some more of those men's fleet scarves. 
So I got another one in, in this kind of, of uh, plaid pattern because I think that that's really nice. Could use that maybe for a farmhouse DIY somewhere along the line. There's one more thing in here. Oh, I actually bought two of these. I've already eaten one of them. <laughs> these are really good. If you ever see these, these they're these, these dark chocolate mint Kit Kat duos. You ever see them, pick them up. They're really good. I really like them. Okay. What else we got here? Here's another bag. Oh. Yeah, I got, I got a friend. Remember from the other haul I told you about I have this friend who loves unicorns? Well, I kind of went overboard because they had so many, so many great unicorn things. So, look at this. She'll be able to DIY that. That's really cool. And these are all going to go to my unicorn loving friend. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And then I got the the unicorn pillow. What I was looking for, and of course they didn't have it, was the um, Boston Terrier face pillow. Because I wanted to get that for the starter kit for Michael from Dumper Note, who has a cute Boston Terrier named Zeus. But I didn't find that. But I did find this cute unicorn pillow, so that's going to go to my unicorn-loving friend. And they had two coloring posters that I think are really pretty awesome for unicorns. There's this one. I'll let you see the back, too. Isn't that cool? And then there's this. And I'll let you look at the... Oh, the, there's nothing on the back of that one. But isn't that nice? And let's see. One more unicorn thing in here. Oh, yes. Very cute little unicorn squishy there. Isn't that cute? So I'm hoping my, my, my friend will enjoy these. Oh, I just couldn't resist because there were just so many cool unicorn things. Let's see. I'm going to put these back in the bag so that I can keep them together to be able to present them to her. Okay. And let's see. One more thing. Um, I was able at the stores that I went to to find some more of these. These are so awesome. Very, very, very nice storage containers with lids. Um, they have a hinged lid. They come open like this. Um, and they have a snap top like that. Very nice. And so they, they had red ones and blue ones. And so I got um, two blue ones and two more red ones. Um, because I, I think, just think these are, are going to be great to store my various supplies in. Um, I'm, I'm, I got, like, all of my Posca pens in one of them. Um, so I'm, I think these would also be really good for stickers. So, let's see. And I think that is about the end of it, besides the stuff that I got for the starter. Let me just make one more check here. I haven't missed any, anything. Nope, I haven't. So, um... Lots of things to look forward to here, folks. Um, I, I'm going to be uh, probably as soon as possible um, doing my video of making Dope or Nope Guys starter kits. I also actually found um, a few items that I'm going to put into a Mariah Elizabeth starter kit that are absolutely perfect for her. I would love to show them to you, but I, I want to wait until that video so that you, they'll, you can see them then. Um, so look forward to those videos. I'm still working on my ice cream village. That should be coming up here real soon. And I'm also going to try to get some, some Valentine's Day kind of DIY things going. So lots of stuff to come up on the creativity cabinet. Um, if you're new here, welcome. This is a place where people have fun being creative. And um, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that, that thumbs up because that helps me. Um, if you... Um, if you like a number of my videos, you might want to consider s subscribing and turning on the notification bell. And um, I want to just thank all of my subscribers that I have now and all the people who comment and say such nice things. I get so many nice comments. And I, I really, I just want to tell you, I really, really appreciate them. And as usual, go out there and make art.